Tucking Mummy In by Morag Lowe and illustrated by Donna Rawlins. As soon as I've tucked you two in, I'm going to bed myself, said Mummy, as she gave Sue and Jenny a bath. I'm so tired, I can't think straight. Let me tell the bedtime story tonight, said Sue. Then you won't have to think at all. That would be great, said Mummy. But Jenny frowned. I hope you can tell a good story, Sue, she said. Mummy kissed them both and tucked them in. Then she lay down on Jenny's bed while Sue made up a story about Mitzi, their cat. The story was funny and Jenny asked a lot of questions. Mummy didn't say anything. Suddenly, Jenny said, oh, Mummy's asleep. They both sat up. What shall we do? asked Sue. Jenny shook Mummy gently, but Mummy slept on. Sue came over to Jenny's bed. Wake up, Mummy, she said loudly. Mmm, said Mummy, but she didn't wake up. We'll have to do something else, said Sue. Together they shook Mummy quite hard. You can't go to sleep here with all your clothes on, said Sue. Mummy opened her eyes and struggled to sit up. Oh, I'm sorry, kids, she said. I didn't mean to go to sleep. You'd better go to bed right now, said Sue. We'll tuck ourselves in tonight. Thanks, darlings, said Mummy. Sue and Jenny led her to her bedroom. They helped her to undress and put on her pyjamas. Then they tucked her into bed and gave her a kiss. Mummy smiled sleepily. Tell the story about Mitzi again, Sue, said Jenny. So Sue did, sitting on Mummy's bed. Mummy was soon fast asleep. Then Daddy came home from work and they ran to meet him. They told him all about tucking Mummy in. Mummy must have been tired, he said. Would you like me to tell you a story now? Daddy asked as he took them back to their room. No thanks, said Jenny. Sue's told a good story twice and I'm sleepy. Me too, yawned Sue. So Daddy tucked them in. Thanks for looking after Mummy so well, said Daddy as he put out the light. See you in the morning.